In the following video, I will show you how to answer question 8 of the June 2010 OCR Core 4 paper. Again, a question on differential equations. Let's take a look. It says find the quotient and remainder when uh, this quadratic is divided by this linear expression here. Okay, let's start. I uh, usually do mine like as follows. Um, I've got x squared minus 5x plus 6, okay, and dividing it by x minus 1 is like factorizing out x minus 1. So I write that in the first brackets. In the second brackets, what has to go here to give me my x squared? Well, an x does. Then that x times x would give me the x squared. But I create for myself a minus x at the same time. But I want minus 5x's. So I've got to subtract a 4, because that minus 4 will times by that x to give me the minus 4x, and hence give me the two first columns I want right. But at the same time as doing that, it creates a plus 4. But I want uh, a plus 6, so I've got to add 2 onto the side, so add 2. So therefore, uh, what is the quotient? Um, the quotient is x minus 4. And what is the remainder? The remainder is simply the number 2. OK, looking at the next part, it asks us to find the general solution of the following differential equation. So the general solution will include um, constants of integration. How do I solve this? By separating variables and integrating. I want to have everything with dy on the left-hand side and everything, uh, everything with y or dy on the left-hand side and everything with x or dx on the right-hand side. So I'm going to divide both sides by this and divide both sides by this and multiply both sides by dx and integrate. So all in one move, hopefully you can see you get the following. You get the integral of 1 over uh, 5 minus y dy would be equal to the integral of 1 divided by this, which is it, which flips the fraction, which makes it x squared minus 5x plus 6, all divided by x minus 1, and that would be re with respect to x. OK, how do I integrate... Uh, this here? Well, it's a ln. It's a ln uh, answer. And I would simply get ln of 5 minus y. How do I integrate this here? Well, think to yourself, what have you done in part 1? Part 1, you have divided this by this and got an answer. And what did you get? You said it was x minus 1, x minus 4, plus 2. So this whole thing here, uh, when, you, when you do that, you get the uh, quotient of x minus 4, you get x minus 4, and you get the remainder of 2 over x minus 1. And all of that is uh, integrated with respect to x. So why is this again? So looking back here, uh, from this line here, dividing everything by uh, x minus 1, you get x uh, x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x minus 1, and on this side you would get x minus 4 plus 2 over x minus 1. So this thing here is the same as this, so when I'm trying to integrate this, I can instead integrate this from here. Okay, well how do I integrate this? Well, this integrates to a half x squared, this integrates to minus 4x, and this is a ln, and this integrates to 2 ln x minus 1, and I get a constant of integration. And that is my general solution to that differential equation done. OK, I'm going to take all of this onto the next page. Okay, that's my general solution. We are given the following facts. Y is a 7, X is 8. Find Y when X is 6. So let's sub in Y is 7, X equals 8 into the general solution. Then I'd get ln of 2 is equal to a half times 
uh, 8 squared, 8 squared is 64, so half of that is 32. 8 times 4 is 32, so minus 32. Plus 2, ln of uh, 7, plus C. These cancel, and so I get that C is equal to ln 2, minus 2, ln 7. Uh, taking that up on top of the ln, this is C is ln 2, minus ln 7 squared, which is 49. And using my powers of uh, ln, ln A minus ln B is ln A over B. So this is ln 2 over 49. So now I've got a particular solution to my uh, differential equation. It's ln, y, uh, ln of y minus 5 is equal to a half x squared minus 4x uh, plus 2 ln x minus 1. And then plus my constant, which I've now worked out, plus ln 2 over 49. Now it wants you to uh, find y when x is 6. So sub in x is 6. So I'll use a different colored pen now. x equals 6. We get ln of y minus 5 is equal to. Okay, 6 squared is 36. Half of that is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. So let's subtract 24. Um, putting in 6 here, you get plus 2 ln 5. And uh, we've got our ln 2 over 49. Okay, best thing to do here is actually work out the right-hand side. So in our calculator, we get 18, subtract 24, plus 2, ln 5, plus uh, ln of 2 over 49. And we get that whole side is equal to uh, minus 5.9797, etc. Keep that full answer in your calculator. Take exponentials of both sides. So y minus 5 is e to this number, 5.97 uh, onwards. And so y is 5 plus e to the minus 5.97 dot dot dot. Keeping that number fully in your calculator. And we get ourselves that y is about equal to uh, 5, rounded to... Um, the nearest whole number. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for differential equations in Core 4. Thank you for watching and listening.